Hi, welcome back. Well, as I mentioned, we have Memorial Care here with us today, and we have Ryan Olson and Russell Smith, who are going to tell us a little bit about their new valet services. Welcome, both of you. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. So, uh, Ryan, let's start with you, and tell me a little bit about this, this new opportunity that everyone has. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, something that we're proud of. It's just a start to what we want to do to improve the patient experience. Uh, because on my first day, so I've been at Saddleback now five months, mm -hmm. and I was walking from our parking structure. We have a quite an extensive ramp that goes from the parking structure to the medical office tower and medical center, mm -hmm. and that has a lot to do with safety and seismic safety and, and the structure that had to be built there. But it's a long climb because of the way you have to do it for folks with disabilities and wheelchairs, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Well, my first day, I was walking up the ramp with another patient who was really struggling. Um, it was a long walk, it was actually a hot day, and uh, you know, immediately we thought, how can we improve this patient experience? And that's kind of how the valet came to light. And the valet is something that has started last week. Mm -hmm. um, it's already received some positive reviews. Patients have said that long walk has been shortened because what we did is we now operate from 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And during that time, when folks drop off their car, um, they're then able to be transported up the ramp immediately, where before they, were, they had to wait for a shuttle to come to the right, parking lot, et cetera. Okay. So this is a big improvement, and that valet is at Calle de, de la Magdalena by oh. the post office, okay. um, and uh, Paseo de Valencia. So you turn off of Paseo de Valencia by the post office, you come to the roundabout, uh, drop your car there, and then can be immediately transported up the ramp if necessary, or just have the convenience of valet there. Okay. So that's the program, and we're just, you know, we feel like it's a start uh, to doing all the things we want to do for this community. Okay. Uh, because, you know, I think I said it last time, that this community built our hospital. We owe them a tremendous debt of gratitude. Mm -hmm. There are volunteers like Russ is here today. Right. They make such a significant difference for us, and this is just a small way to pay back the community. It's not a panacea, but we have a big campus. We have mm -hmm. a lot of specialists, a lot of different programs. It's a start to making sure that, you know, this community that you feel comfortable. So tell me, so when you get on, is it, is it a, what is it, a bus or it's a physical person? It's just that's... a golf cart. Okay. So yeah, when you drop off your car at the end of the roundabout, yes. uh, someone in a golf cart will be waiting for, for you if you need it, okay. or you can walk up the ramp if you're able, but uh -huh. um, the folks in the golf cart, they're dedicated to that space. Okay. So we make sure we always have someone there so they can get the ride up the up the ramp if necessary. Okay, because I, I hadn't been to Saddleback in a while, but when I was, it was always the shuttle that was there and it parked right at the base of yes. that walkway. And so you're now able to go up that walkway with this particular type of golf cart. Right. Oh, that's great. Right. That's great. All right, very good. And then um, there's no charge. Exactly. Okay. So that's, you know, for us, that's the biggest thing. And mm -hmm. this makes us really unique in the community. We do mm -hmm. not charge for parking. We haven't. Okay. And that's something that will continue to promise this community that, you know, we really believe it's about the overall patient experience. We're not going to charge you. This valet is free. Mm -hmm. uh, a tip is not expected okay. or required. Um, and so it's, it's free. Uh, there, there are no strings attached other than we want you to have the best experience possible. Okay, now tell us again where it actually is. So it's at the roundabout off of? Calle de la Magdalena. Okay. So if everyone mm -hmm. in the community knows the post office, mm -hmm. that's that street kind of behind the front of the hospital, right. which is off of Paseo de Valencia. Got it. And so you turn into that roundabout. Instead of turning right into the patient lot, mm -hmm. you just keep going another 20 feet, and you'll see the valet sign. Okay, perfect. So, and yeah. then how do, you, how do you then get your car back? Do you need to make a phone call or...? Uh, you can just tell the folks at the bottom of the ramp again they'll to transport you back down and they'll they'll bring your car okay so, great yeah. and then what about people who might need a wheelchair we have wheelchairs available there um, so once we take the folks up the ramp there will be volunteers who will coordinate a wheelchair being ready for them okay so he kind of he kind of segued right into you there on the volunteer yeah. so so tell me about what you do well uh, my particular job is Thursday morning positions at the medical office towers. Okay. And what I do is I assist patients, assist the patients, their families, the caregivers, mm -hmm. and uh, to locate various places within the, within the structure. Okay. The doctor's office, sometimes the administrative office, the surgical center, the foundation. Okay. Um, the pharmacy, and even the bathrooms. So you you do everything. Do everything. 
What do we you, make what? them comfortable Good. when they come in. Have you been there a while? Uh, I have been volunteering for about four or five years. Now. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you love best about what you do? I think, I think uh, the, the feeling that you get when you're helping somebody. Right. It makes you feel makes you feel good. Well, and I bet you see a lot of people that you see on a regular basis, and they probably know you by first oh, name. Oh, huh? you bet. That's great. Even the FedEx man. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you like best about what uh, what they've added? Uh, I like the fact that we do have a we do have a shuttle service besides the valet service, mm -hmm. and uh, this will improve the access to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I've seen people come in; they're struggling to walk up that ramp, and this will they come into the office and they have to sit down and rest a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now this will they park their car, hop right on the shuttle, come into the into the building, and they can sit there or they can come right over to the desk and mm -hmm. I will tell them where they want to go. Right. Once they tell me what, you know, who they're supposed to see. Right. Right. And uh, uh, the thing is they no longer have to look for a parking spot. Mm -hmm. They, uh, if someone comes with them, you know, they're, they're a caretaker, they're both dropped off, mm -hmm. they both get on the shuttle, mm -hmm. the caretaker's with them at all times, mm -hmm. come up to the door and then they go up the elevator to where they have to go. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, we're, all the volunteers are excited about this new, this new venture we're going mm -hmm. into. Mm -hmm. now, now, you're a Laguna Woods resident, right? I sure am. Great, so you probably are really a good, uh, good voice for uh, Memorial Care saying, hey, they have this now. Have you talked to a lot of people yeah. in the community about it? Well, we have a lot of volunteers from, the, from okay. Laguna Woods. So the word will be spread around. There's no, no question about that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, excellent, excellent. And then um, I know you said you work in a lot of different areas at the hospital. Is there any one particular favorite position that you like better than well, another? I like what I'm doing right now. Okay. Before I was in the escort and messenger, mm -hmm. where when they come in the, the main hospital and they need to go someplace, we get a wheelchair and roll them up to where they have to be and mm -hmm. what have you. That's exciting because you learn so many things about the hospital, or right. the good things that the hospital does. Right. Uh, but I do enjoy what I'm doing right now. I like to meet people, and I never sit down. I'm always there to greet people when they come in the door, and they never go out the door without I tell them, "Have a wonderful day." That's nice. With a That's big nice. smile on the face. At, always, right? Always. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. Exactly. So, Brian, um, how would other people get involved if they wanted to volunteer over there? You know, they can uh, call uh, the hospital and they can even speak to me directly. So okay. again, I'm Ryan Olson, the Chief Operating Officer. If you'd like to volunteer, I'd love to be a direct connection for you okay. at the hospital. And we just can't say enough about what they do. Um, you know, Russ, he's so gentle with our patients. He helps them find their way. On my first week or second week, I was pulled into the volunteer office. I was saying hello. And one of the things they do is they go to visit some of the lonelier patients if they don't oh. have family or friends around and they had me come up and sing happy birthday to a patient <laughs> and the patient started crying because Aww. he was overwhelmed with joy uh, because of this experience and mm -hmm. the uh, the amount of work they do the kindness they exude is something we cannot repay them for uh, we don't pay them anything actually right I mean, it's, <laughs> but we can never <laughs> repay them uh, in any way because of the work they do and right. so yeah if, if this anyone in the community would like to volunteer they can call the hospital and uh, call me directly and I'll connect them with the right folks. So. And there's a lot of opportunity right now, right? Yes. There is. Yes. Okay. Plenty, yeah. Well, with expansions and some other uh, new programs that you have, I would assume you need more people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got a lot going on. Um, we became a magnet designated hospital, right. a thrombectomy ready stroke hospital, which means we can take care of the highest level of strokes. Mm -hmm. Um, we have different plans uh, right now to become a hospital elder life program, okay. which means that we'll receive certification to ensure that we have the best experience and outcomes for our elderly population. Um, we have great work in the neurosciences and cardiac care, mm -hmm. and so we need volunteers in all clinical and administrative areas um, okay. right now as we continue to expand. Okay, exactly. well that's excellent. All right. I would like to add that Ryan has only been here for five months, very well respected in the hospital. 
Very well. He sounds like a pro already. I mean, five months <laughs> they just thrown you right in. Uh, it's, it, it's because of all the great folks there and, our, and our volunteers. I'm able to be successful. So all right, excellent, excellent. Uh, anything else that you'd like to tell us about the valet? I mean, it sounds like you've covered everything. How about uh, where they can find out about it? They can go to our website. There'll also be ads coming out in the Globe uh, next week that'll okay. highlight kind of the advantages and the locations again. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can always call the hospital at any time, and okay. I, I can even be a direct contact for them. Okay, great, and I think we have it on there, memorialcare.org forward slash SB Valet. So exactly. if they want to see everything there. Thank you for sharing that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. have that on the screen. So <laughs> excellent. Well, thank you so much, both of you, for being here, and thank you so much for your volunteering. I'm nice to meet you. All right, thank you again. We'll see you next time. Thank you. And uh, if you wanted to know more about the valet service, just go to the website that we just shared with you, and uh, we'll be right back after this.